Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, welcome to another edition to Wenham's Times Past. My name is Ed Josephs, and we are so delighted uh, this day to be sitting in the living room of Mrs. Aurelia Woodbury of 20 Monument Street. And Mrs. Woodbury is 94 years young <laughs> and ha has consented to uh, have us come in uh, with our Times Past cameras and chat a bit. Mrs. Woodbury, welcome to Times Past. Thank you. And our other guest today is uh, fr old friend Blanche Day from yeah. Hamilton and Wenham. Yeah, I and, uh, well, I like. Uh, mm -hmm. Welcome, Blanche, to, to Times Past. Thank you. Now, Mrs. Woodbury, y you are 94 years young. I am. Having been born in 1899. Right. I'm always a year ahead of the year. That's how I remember, everyone can remember my name, you see. I see. I'm always a, one year ahead of the year. Like, it's 93 now, and I'm 94. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That, that is just marvelous. And you look so spry and, and uh, well, f full of life and pep at this time. Thank you. I'm afraid that looks don't count <laughs> in this case. <laughs> I'm not that spry, but I can do well. I get along. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it that way. Now, you were born here, right here in Wenham. I was born in Wenham. And can you tell us something about your family, uh, starting perhaps with your mo mother and father, who they were, and yeah. perhaps who you were married to? My mother's so maiden name was Cummings. And her father was um, William Scott Cummings, and he lived here at Burnham. At one time, he was a slick man in Burnham, my mother's father. And my father was born in Holyoke, and my maiden name was Glavin. Uh, he, he was of Irish descent. And uh, he came to work on my grandfather's farm. He had a farm. Porter Street wasn't there then. That was all land. And it was my grandfather Cummings' land. And they used to have a milk route, and they had a real big farm. Raised vegetables, you know, and hired people to work on it and so forth. And... Um, you were uh, a member of how large a family now? Did you I have brothers and sisters? I was one of nine children. I'm one of nine children. I was the third one. My mother had twins. Mm -hmm. My sister Grace always insisted on saying, but only eight births. <laughs> she, she always insisted on saying, that. I don't know why. We used to laugh at it. Only eight births, because <laughs> she had twins. And My brother uh, and sister, I have, but they didn't look anything alike. The first children were twins. Mal and Mabel. The first children were twins. No. No, they were they, they were way down the line. Oh, I was line. My Grace, my daughter, sister Grace, my brother Bill, and then I'm the third one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there was Ethel, Fred. Marjorie, Mabel, and Marlon were the twins, oh. Mabel and Marlon. And they didn't look a thing alike. Mabel was dark, and she was awful pretty. I got no picture of her. She was a pretty one in the family. And uh, Marlon was blonde. They didn't look a thing alike. And then Gert Gertie, and Gertie was redheaded. Oh, I remember Gertie. Remember Gertie? Yes, yeah, remember Gertrude. Gertie. We called her Gertie. Yeah. She didn't like it. She always used to say, why don't you call me Trudy or something? Don't call me Gertie. <laughs> <laughs> we got in the habit of it. It was hard not to, you know. Uh -huh. Now, as a young girl, I understand you went to school here in Wenham when the school was right beside the town hall. Right. First three grades. And, First three grades. And that was uh, quite a while ago, Mrs. Yes, Woodbury. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> before, this was before the center school, <coughs> excuse me, the center school was built, back uh, the present uh, middle school that we have. Yeah. And uh, all, the, all the schooling was done right here in, in the square. Yeah. A little building set right side of the town hall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And you attended the first three grades there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what, where did you go after that for, for school? Fourth grade. Mm -hmm. In the yellow school building of, up on, um, you know, Abba Street. Okay. The yellow school Center building. Center school. What, 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 what do they do there now? The offices there or something? Well, I think there's some classes in the Center School. Of course, they have the Bessie uh, Buker School now, the brick yes. building. Mm -hmm. It's near yeah. the yeah. Perkins Street there. Uh -huh. See, when I, I went to Center School, it was right from first grade through to the ninth. Yeah, that's right. They went yeah. to the ninth. Didn't they had the ninth in yes. Wenham. That's right. I remember yeah, that. We went down to the big city, Beverly. Beverly. Yeah. Now, did you graduate from school here in Wenham, Mrs. Woodbury? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, grammar school. Uh huh. And then you went, went to Beverly. Went right to Beverly High School. Beverly High School. I see. 
Following your high school uh, education, you did go to work? I went to work in the Wood Show in the office. Downtown in Beverly? Yes, on Mantle Street. Mantle mm -hmm. Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, was it there that you met your husband? <coughs> well, um, I had known him before then, and when I'm here, well, he lived this year. I'm second wife. I'm, I'm, I've been married before. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to work for her and take care of her. She had two children, so I had two stepchildren, you see. Lanfear, Office Lanfear, that was my husband's name, and we called him Lanny and Glenn, uh -huh. lovely children. And uh, they're both gone now. Both yeah. died of heart attacks, isn't that funny? Yeah. Glenn was only 63, and Lanny was 77 when he died. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, your husband's name was Orpheus. Orpheus. And uh, he... His name was mentioned on... You mentioned it, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, I, I got that. We've done a program uh, with Mr. Konitz's photographs yeah, uh, showing yeah, the, uh, yeah. the house as, yeah, it was, yeah. as it was then known. My uh, husband was smart, he was brilliant, and he was handsome. He, he was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> he was, really. Uh, and you had some in-laws over in Beverly, some of the Woodbury family in Beverly? Yeah, uh, my husband's uh, cousins. Elsie and Nettie Woodbury and Rufus Woodbury, and they were cousins of my husband. <laughs> and they would have lived down in Beverly Cove? They lived down in Beverly Cove in the corner of East Corning and Hale Street. Uh -huh. I know the house. That's I know the big house. house. That's where they lived. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, regarding your own family, you have three lovely children of your own. Yes, I do. <laughs> and their names? I name? certainly do. Robert, uh, June, and Baba. And uh, they're all lovely children. They yeah. are. And I have eight grandchildren. And, and two great grandchildren. Two great grandchildren. Yes, indeed. Isn't yeah. that wonderful, Blanche? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am blessed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and your husband did pass away back in uh, 1958. 58. Yeah, November 8th, 58, yeah. I yeah. see. He was 73. I see. Well, um... Yeah, uh, it was so sudden. We were having lunch, <clears throat> and uh, my son happened to be there, Bobby was with me that day. It was on a Saturday, and we were having lunch. And all of a sudden, we're talking, we're talking about uh, things, you know. All of a sudden, his head drooped. I thought he dropped his napkin. And I got up to go around to see. Then all of a sudden, he began to slump. And he, I said, my Bob, I said, he's gone. And he got on the we got him on the floor, and he was gone. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I never saw him so sudden. No, yeah. It yeah. was the way he'd want to go. Yeah. He had a horror of dying in the hospital, of leaving home. He loved his home. He loved his home. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a regular homebody. He never wanted to be, he wasn't a joiner. never wanted to join these clubs, you know, Masons, because he didn't want to be out nights, for one thing. And um, as quick as that, he was gone. It was congestive heart trouble, they mm -hmm. said. Oh. Well, thank goodness it was. But it was, uh, I, I, never, I never saw anything so sudden in all my yeah. life. Peaceful. Very. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way to go. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's yeah. the way he'd want to go. Yes. I know. It's an awful shot. It's, it's hard on the people he leaves behind. It's a hard shot, yeah. 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 But yeah. As a young girl, Mrs. Woodbury, you, you told me uh, earlier that you had always wanted to be a school teacher. I did. <laughs> I used to think I, I want, uh, I'd love to be a school teacher, but I want to teach. No, nothing above the third grade, the little ones. I love, the, I love, I love children. I love babies. Uh, and I love ch little children. <clears throat> but as it happened, uh, we couldn't afford, my, my family couldn't afford, you have to go to Santa Normal School for two years to teach in the elementary grades, you know. Mm. You could teach in up to the eighth grade if you, if you went to normal school for two years. But it meant going back and forth on the cars and buying your books, I found. You had to buy your books. And my family just couldn't afford all that. I couldn't afford to go. Mm. So I went to work, down to Pursue, uh -huh. in the office. Mm -hmm. But it's a good thing I did. Is everything worked out fine for me? It, it surely, it surely <laughs> you did. I married the boss. I married the boss. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you did take care of children. You, you, you said oh, earlier yes, that you love to take we, care of we, young we children. We were babies out in the, in the from the time I was thirteen. I used, I took care of her brother, yeah. Albert yeah. Dodd. Yeah. yeah, I worked for her mother that summer, buying a Dodge. She was a lovely. Christian woman, your mother yeah. was, wasn't she? That yeah, bad, she was. lovely person. And I, I went to work there. I was 15, so I, I can always remember how, how old Albie is. <laughs> I was 15, 
And I went to, I went to work up there. She lived, lived with one friend called the last house on the right. I went there every morning and helped her with the housework and then I'd wheel him out with the baby in the afternoon. How old was he at this time? Well, he, he was born in May, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. And I went to work uh, so in, in June. He was only a couple of months, you oh, know. Yes. Yeah. Oh. He, I went there. Well, I went him out, and I used to take care of him. She'd leave me, go to Salem sometimes, to take care of him. Well, he might be having his nap, but I always, I love babies. I always did. Yeah. And um, so, I, as I say, I worked there all that summer for, for Blanche's yeah. mother. <laughs> uh, but yes, he was an awful good baby. Yeah. And I, I guess I told you this, Blanche. Uh, Mrs. Cavanagh used to wheel, wheel Eddie out at the same time. Ed Cavanagh, he was yes. the same age. And I used to come back and I'd say to your mother, oh, wow, Al is much better looking than Ed Cavanagh. <laughs> I was awful mean. What did I mean? <laughs> I was, well, I wasn't mean to her, but I was, yeah. I loved him. I loved him. He was such a good baby. He was an awful good baby. Albie will enjoy hearing that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. One time he was here talking with us. And Betty Collins, so I was out time, he came home for supper. And he says, uh, she says, what are you doing so long? He's talking about, uh, um, talking with my babysitter, we said. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great talker. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. You know, he knows everything well, made it to you. You never see, saw anything like him, doesn't he, uh, Blanche? He, he has to show the selectmen where the bounds are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. They take the walk. Bob goes with them sometimes. <clears throat> Mrs. Yes, um. Whitby, for, for uh, a bit here, could we talk about some of the, the old teachers here in Wenham? Now, you had a Miss Abbott that yes. you, ta taught when you. Yes, she was in the little schoolhouse downtown. Beside the town hall. Yes. She was nice. She yeah. came from Andover. And that was your favorite among, well, among your teachers? Yeah, well, kind of. Kind of, maybe. Mm. But you knew Bessie Buca very well. Not, oh, yes. Not as a teacher, but uh, yes, as, as a person. Her very in well, the, in yeah. The mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, Bessie Buca? What kind of a lady she was? Um, well, uh, she, uh, the kids didn't like her, I don't think. Do you? Well, I had respect for her. Yeah. I had a lot of respect. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, if you weren't on her bad list, why yeah. you were okay? But boy, she my didn't. daughter Barbara didn't like her at all. I, I wanted yeah. to have her to supper one night because I had had all the, the other teachers that the Marjorie Keys they had her. Remember her? Yeah. She was in fifth and sixth grades, I oh. think. I had her supper, and I had uh, Mabel uh, Gold. Oh yeah. yeah. She, she was, was first the first grade. grade. Was the second I grade. had her for supper, mm -hmm. and. My daughter Barbara said if I had Bessie, she wouldn't come to the table. <laughs> wow. Well, so I didn't have Bessie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Barbara was stubborn. Miss, Miss Buca was a force to be reckoned with, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, it, but she had a way to look at you. Hmm. And you looked, she looked at you that way. You she had a droopy eye. You knew she you were in trouble. I had a droop. Uh, yeah. Kids yeah. used to make fun yeah. of the poor thing, you know. Yeah. You, you told me about the time they wrote her name in the snow out in the schoolyard. It's a beautiful, you know, the, where, the, where the yellow schoolhouse was, and there was all this yard, and it was just a clear white. And some of them got up, and they wrote, Bessie Brook in the snow, great big letters. So the, she rang the bell out the at window, see, every morning. She rang the bell, the kids were outside. They know she'd see it. She tried her best to find out who did that. She she overdid things, you know. Sure. She did, she did just let it pass. What differences make? Yeah. Well, she, oh, she was trying her best to find out who did it. Of course, they wouldn't tell. They wouldn't tell. You have uh, people like that in uh, your uh, classes. Well, I, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. But um, I think Blanche, like you said, she was feared to an extent, but she was well respected. She was, <clears> yeah. And, yeah. As witness to the fact that they've named the school for yeah, her. Yeah, yes. In her well, she was there a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, yeah, she was a good teacher. Yeah. A quick word about Miss Bullis. Now, I, you had her as a teacher, I Blanche. I had her as a teacher. But you knew her as a, as a person. Friend, as yeah. a friend. Yeah. Best, uh, Hazel Bullis. She, yeah. A English, wonderful English teacher. They said the, the kids that came to Beverly, you could follow them. They, they knew English better than Beverly. really learned your English. Yeah, yeah. But she also could be, uh, you know, her personality, uh, 
She'd get get after a, a kid sometimes. She sort of pick on. I was yeah. one that she sort of picked on. Well, yeah. She picked, well, didn't she kind of favor the boys? I, I think so. so someone says she. Yeah. Uh, because my brother and sister liked to be in plays, I had to be in a play, and I had no idea yeah. desire to be in a play. And one time she got me up in front of the class to conjugate verbs, and I was mispronouncing. So she was criticizing my mispronunciation and, yeah. and the way I looked and my, yeah. the way I wore my hair. Oh my and God! And I really, I felt very That was delighted. awful. No, that was awful. I, I took yeah. all my confidence. When, on when me. she was out of the school and a friend, uh, now she bought it with a friend of mine over on uh, out, um, Cherry Street, yes. Great Norton. And they used to come over Saturday nights. We used to go to visit Saturday nights, take turns. My little eldest, my neighbor across the street used to, the three of us used to take turns. They definitely, they having each other to their house for that Saturday night. And she was a lot of fun then when she was yeah. away from teaching, you know. Yeah. She was a lot of well, fun. Well, I went over to her room when she was rooming with Bessie Fails to, to work on this play, my part in the play. Yeah. And she couldn't have been nicer. Yeah. She had ginger ale and cookies. Yeah. And she yeah. was so kind to me. Yeah. And I thought, why does she have to act like this and, and act the other way in public? Yeah. That's I know. A, that's yeah. a teacher's prerogative. Yeah. And then, and then that time <laughs> she took uh, Ruth Hale and I into Boston to that. see the play Macbeth. Yeah. And I had a wonderful day. Yeah. And, I, and even to this day, that play Macbeth means a lot to me. Yeah. She took us to to the salad bowl at Filene's to, for yeah, lunch. Yeah, yeah. And then she we, took us to the play and she explained everything that was going to happen. Yeah. And she really made that play come alive for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she, Mrs. Was, she was a good teacher. Mrs. Woodbury, I'd, I'd like to go way back now in, in your memory, way, way back. <laughs> well, I, can, and, I guess I'm that old. <laughs> and, and I was fascinated when we talked prior to this taping, when you told me that you remembered uh, Benjamin Conant, the, the what? The, that you remembered Benjamin Conant, oh, yes. the photographer. Yes, I do. And yeah. of course, Harold Boothroyd is uh, uh, the present curator of the uh, collection of Conant pictures down at the uh, yeah. Historical Society. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we're doing a series on wonderful. them. Mm -hmm. But can you tell us what you remember about Benjamin Conant as a person, having seen him? Well, I told you, he lived in the house crossing the post out, well, post out, no, down Main Street. See, he did, uh, but on the, going down where the car used to be, on the corner of Arbor, sure. and then on the left, going towards Hamilton, he lived in probably the third house or so down, don't you remember? And he had a piazza and he had a hammock on it, and I, could, well, I remember his sitting in that hammock, and swinging, swinging in that hammock. Just watching the... Traffic yeah, go by, yeah, people go yeah, by. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, he used to come and take pictures of, for special occasions like our graduation from grammar school and things like that. Uh -huh. He came and took pictures then. Yeah. So you, you remember Benjamin Conant coming and going yeah, downtown I do. in, in Wenham. Yeah. How about Wellington Poole? Do you have a memory of him? Now, he would have passed on in about 1911, I believe, Mrs. Woodbury, but yeah. you'd been like 12 years old at the time. Yeah, well, I, I can remember him, yeah, Wellington yeah. Poole, yeah. yeah. He, was he lived in a little house in back of one, someone's house there on Main Street. Yeah, the town clerk and yeah. very much respected. Yeah. yeah, He was sort of a big fellow, was he not, Wellington? Tall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas Benjamin was more of average size yeah, and height. Yeah, smaller, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a nice full beard, though. Ben yes. Benjamin had that <laughs> yes, nice full yeah. beard. We have pictures of him. Yeah. Uh, sitting and uh, actually he was kind of he liked the girls he was always hugging the girls benjamin was <laughs> yeah uh, really? remember the, you know, uh, no, no, no you don't remember that uh, uh, yeah he did he, he liked the girls uh, uh, <laughs> he used to ride around uh, on a bicycle we have a picture of him riding on a bicycle up really? and down Ma main street that. and and i'm yeah. told uh harold has told me that uh one of the trout fellows would give him a ride on the back of his wagon which is how he probably got around to take his oh, pictures yeah, in, the, yeah. in the community. Uh, Mrs. Woodbury, I'd like to ask you uh, about some of uh, the old timers here in town that you might recall. Let's start with Horace Durgan. Oh, I said that blacksmith shop. Yes. Yeah. He was kind of a comical and had a big mustache, you know. <laughs> and um, a lot of fun. It was he, a lot of fun, as I he remember. Had, he had a big handlebar rolled up yes. mustache, yes, as I did. see the picture of yes, him, as we yeah. have a picture here of him. Yeah. <clears throat> and I guess he was the town moderator, was he not? 
uh, well, one of the one of the officials that ran the town meetings and. Oh, <coughs> perhaps so. I kind of forgotten there. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Where was his blacksmith shop? Down there on Main Street, right across from where. Um, Well, the Evanses lived. You know the. Um, Is it near the Clapham or Richard's house? Mary, Mary this side, Mary. Of it, oh, this right. side of it, Blanche. This side of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you do remember Horace Durgan? Oh yes. Being a, yes, I do. <laughs> a, f a fun fellow. Yes. Kind of, yeah. I heard he was pretty strict, though, or pretty pretty fierce looking when he when he was a uh, the town moderator, and oh. he when he called for order, I guess that was everybody paid attention. He, he got order. <laughs> I think. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, how about uh, the Sargent uh, brothers, uh, Ed or Frank? Do you say a word about either of those two gentlemen? Ed Sargent lived up on Arbor Street, and uh, a nice fellow. I liked Ed. And uh, Maud is his wife. Remember Maud? Yes, I remember yeah, Maud. Yeah, Maud. He was a nice fellow. And I had a son, Thorndike. I would tell, well, they used to call him Mr. Wenham. He's across the street diagonally, you know, out there. Had the store down here, you know. His yeah. father had it, and he had it with him, worked with, with him. And uh, I liked him. He was a nice, uh, nice fellow, and had six, six children. Yeah. Had six children, three so boys and three girls. He was good to the children. He had nice the children. children. They were all, all nice kids. He had yeah. lovely children. He was strict with them. Yeah. No, and but when when children came into the store, he was nice to them too. Yes. You know, I oh, remember yeah. when I ever went in, he yeah. was very pleasant. Oh yeah, he was. Arthur was nice, and uh, he had nice kids. They were all nice children. Uh, as a young girl, Mrs. Woodbury, you said that uh, as recreation, you would perhaps play ball. Yeah. With, with the with the boys. Uh, yeah. Baseball. Yeah, we used to go right across the street. Uh, in the schoolyard now, where the Vesuvica school is, that was the schoolyard, and the yellow building was the school, you know, uh -huh. and all that land in front was the, the uh, playing ground where, the, where yeah, we played. Place yeah, play. played ball there. And and all the neighborhood kids used to go over yeah. there. Yeah, and they used to have games, uh, come from Beverly uh, to play with Wenham. Yes. Don't you remember that? And. Uh, so you get right in with the fellas and play ball with them. No, I didn't play play with the fellas. You didn't. You didn't play with no, the we with the boys. Just play amongst ourselves. I see. We have the regular ball games. I see. Cro croquet was. My father used to. He he the uh, empire. I see. <laughs> and if you say that they didn't approve of his, someone would holler, "Kill the empire! Kill the empire!" <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I say, I say croquet was kind of popular croquet, back Croquet, we there. played. We liked that, yeah. Young, young days. We had that. We had that. We, we played that. We, 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 don't, yeah. Uh, yeah. we, we don't uh, hear too much of that game uh, No, uh, we don't anymore. hear much of that, do These you? Mm -hmm. Tell me now, on the holidays uh, around in Wenham, uh, for example, Fourth of July, what would it have been like here uh, in Wenham on a typical Fourth of July day? Well, people... I remember we used to, um, our folks would give us 10, 15 cents to buy some torpedoes or things for us to throw, you know, make a bang. And yeah. I remember someone saying, puff, there goes a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. were, there, were there firecrackers to be Yeah, had? firecrackers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And those um, things, um, tall. Uh, oh, Roman candles. Well, it just had a thin stem. and. And you light them, you know. Oh, the sparklers. Sparklers, yes. I guess they were. Just yeah. like those. Those yeah. are pretty. Would there have been parades going downtown um, on the 4th? Yeah, um, 4th of July. God, I Probably it the town. It was Memorial Day. We yeah. had a parade. We always had a parade yeah. Memorial Day. Now, on, oh. on Memorial Day in May, uh, there'd be a parade for sure. Yeah. And uh, you might have seen many of the Civil War veterans uh, marching. Yeah. And they used to come and talk to the school kids. They used to talk, talk to up to schools. I'm doing, but you know, you don't remember that. But yeah. I, I remember that they'd come and talk. Yeah. So, Dressed so. up in their uniforms. Yes, as, yes, as best yeah, best they could. Yeah, some of them. That's and, right. Yeah. Uh, there was one that lived over on Cherry Street. Do you remember the Obers that lived on Cherry Street? Yes. Uh -huh. In that house, and he sat in the window lots of times, and he was old, and he used to wave to everyone that went by, you know, he used yeah. to wave to him. Uh, yeah. You know, we have a couple of photographs taken by Mr. Conant of the of the veterans uh, yeah. as they posed in their later on years. 
uh, many of them at that this time. Of course, they were all older men, as Mrs. Woodbury yeah. said. Speaking of World War One, Mrs. Woodbury, what what was it like around here in Wenham during those war years here in Wenham? Many when folks the had people were away. Yeah, well, I'm sure many folks had young men off. Oh yes, it, well, it was kind of it was kind of sad. I was going with the fellows. I remember Pete Cannon. Oh, you wouldn't remember him. <laughs> and. Uh, he was in France, and I remember, you know, writing and getting letters from him. And uh, the news traveled rather slowly, though. The, yeah. The events would happen, and it would be a, sometimes days before the news would filter yeah. back here. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. But uh, were, were there? Uh, I'm sure there were men who were killed, and there was probably oh, yes. a, a, yeah. a touch of sadness here. Yes. Many, many families. Uh, the there was area. a Bada boy, the Charlie Bada. Uh, you know, remember the Bada's now, Beverly? Yeah. I mean, the name sounds yeah. familiar. I remember he was killed, and that was awful sad. Oh, nice yeah. boy, yeah. You had a brother, Bill, that fought in the war, Mrs. Woodbury? Um, yes, my brother, Bill, was a, in the service. He was a Marine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was fortunate enough to come home. Oh, yes. He, in fact, he didn't get across. Uh -huh. which he felt bad about it, he wanted to, but we we're, were glad he didn't. <laughs> sure, absolutely. He was down in uh, Quantico, Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to ask you, what was life like, uh, having been, or uh, that you are 94 years old, young at this point, you've lived before the automobile was <laughs> ever thought of as a conveyance. Now, what was life like here in town? Well, <clears throat> I, I, uh, I remember in... Uh, of course, we went on the trolley cars, and of course, the tracks have been taken up and everything now, but that's the way you had to go. Yep. But I can remember in high school, there were only two families that, who's, who had an automobile, two families. Imagine that, please. Yeah, uh, the Davies. No traffic jams in those days. <laughs> no, no, uh, the only one, the, and I knew in my class and had, had an automobile with two different, two yeah. different families. They had to be very careful when they went by horses. Yeah, I, one of them yeah. was the Ghouls. Remember Sid Gould yes. and oh, uh, yes. mm -hmm. Mary Gould? She was yes. in my class. And Helen Gould. Yeah. They had one. They, they had, had a car. Yep. Yeah. Once in a while, <laughs> one of them would meet. Mary was in my class, Mary Gould, and they'd take us home. And, oh, that was a pleasure oh, to ride in a car, an automobile. <laughs> wonderful. <coughs> that was wonderful. Yeah. Now, Sid Gould would have been the owner of the grocery store yes, over at Hamilton. That's right. On Railroad Avenue. Sid Gould. Yep. He was, had a nice store, a yeah. little nice store. He had the grocery store yeah, up now. Yeah. Yeah. Up Willow Street. Yeah, Connor Willow and, uh, and Railroad, Avenue. Railroad Avenue. Yeah, yeah. So life was a bit different back in the yes, horse and buggy yes, days. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Can we talk a little bit about Wenham Square for just a moment now? Uh, Wenham Square. Down in and around the, the uh, Monument area, Monument Square area. And let's start with um, the Hobbs House. Uh, and you remember when there was a harness shop sitting right beside yes, the, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the present day Hobbs House. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And was that the original tea house by chance, Mrs. Woodbury? Yes. Yeah. And I believe you'd work there a little bit. I have. I used to wash dishes when I was 14. <laughs> I washed dishes there. My sister Grace was three years older than I was. Waited on table. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the coal. Have you ever heard of Mrs. E.B. Cole? She was oh, yeah. kind of the head of the yeah, tea house, yeah. remember? Mm -hmm. She had a daughter, Elmer, who was handsome. Remember yeah. her and Benjamin, her son? Yeah. Nice looking, both of them wonderful. And she was uh, kind of the head of that tea house, mm -hmm. I know. I see. Yeah. How much would you have earned uh, on a, perhaps a day or a week's uh, worth of wages working there? Do you? A waitress? Um, I wasn't a waitress. Uh, I, I used to do dishes. Yeah. How much did I earn a week? Ten dollars. Mm. <laughs> For a lot of hours, I'll Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, and I was glad to get it. I'm sure. Yeah. Were there a lot of ladies that came to tea there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, quite a few. Mm -hmm. So you you well remember the the uh, building of the new tea house that uh, on its present day yes, yeah. location right down the front right of the street here. Right down the line, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go across the street. Uh, has did, has the Claflin Richards house changed at all since you were a young Claflin Richards? The, the, the present the historical historical. Yeah, I don't think so. 
Well, they've added the museum wing. Yeah. Yeah, and then they burn them all. The old firehouse oh, has been yeah. attached to it. As you yeah. said earlier, the uh, schoolhouse used to sit right side of town hall, where the first the three first yeah. three grades were yes. located, yes. and where you that's went right. to school. Yeah, that's right. W was there another, uh, and also the library was in the town hall, was it not? Was yes, it yes. At, uh, during yes. Uh, those years? Yes, it was. It still is. In the back of it, they've added on. Yes, they yeah. have. Was, was Wenham a place where you could go to buy what you needed, uh, Mrs. Woodbury? Did you have to travel, let's say, to uh, south to Beverly or? Maybe into Hamilton or? Uh, you had to go to Beverly for some things, yeah. yes. You yeah. had to. You, you really My brother used to go shopping um, Saturday nights and he'd go to Beverly on the car. Uh -huh. Come home and generally bring something to surprise us, candy. And my mother loved prunes. <laughs> he'd bring prunes. I always remember that. Uh -huh. And um, he. He always, he loved to, uh, we used to tell my mother she favored Bill, my father, my brother. Probably because he brought the prunes. <laughs> <laughs> and we, my, my sister Marjorie said, you don't favor Bill. And she says, no, I don't. But she says, he's an awful good boy. He never comes in the house empty-handed. He take, goes to the wood pile and brings a arm for the wood in to put by the fire. We burn wood in the summer, you know, and coal in the, in the woods in the winter, so he kept it banged all night. Sure. But we had wood. So, you know, he never goes by that wood pile, but he brings a, an arm full of wood in, so I never have to go out and get anything. And she said, I, I don't favor him, though, she said. Uh, uh. <laughs> but she did. No, but he was a good son. He was a, he was a nice boy, Bill. Was good. A smart boy. Was there anything about Monument Square that is that you remember that we might not see there today? I, I've seen pictures of like the, there was a town pump uh, down across the street there from the present day post office. I believe that's where the old pump, the town well, used to be. I've seen pictures of that taken yeah, by Mr. Cohen. I Cohen. Can remember seeing pictures of that. Uh, I don't remember much about trout, it. Trout store is gone, and, yeah. and, and some of those used buildings to be are beautiful in there. chestnut trees around that monument. Yes, didn't they? Yeah. Kids used I to could, pick them up. Oh, oh no! I, could, I picked up a lot of chestnuts. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about the carbines, Mrs. Woodbury? Down well, on the corner there. The carbines. I can remember those. Uh, you know, leaving the cars in. Digging them out to forest. So we used to have to, when we went to Beverly High, we'd have to walk down there to get, the, get on the car to take us to Beverly High School, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, when we were still on the cars, then we got go on the bus after a while. But I remember walking down there. Well, they were great big old barns where they kept the cars, yes. like the cars. Yeah. And before that, the the horse cars would have been kept there before the days of yeah, the electric trolleys. Yeah, I don't trolleys. remember those, mm. but that... That would have been I, back in the... That would before. be a little miles way back. <laughs> a, bit, a bit before your time. They moved the carbine house up behind where I used to live. Really? Remember that? How they moved it you up? You told me, yeah. Up the street? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Now you tell me about it, too. I'd yeah. forgotten to ask you, you just mentioned uh, going to Beverly to high school. You would have graduated in the year of 1900 and... Eighteen. Eighteen from Beverly High School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. We yeah. had five years. Yes. That? Remember that? Yeah. We had five my, years. My, my I don't know why. In Salem, only yeah. for every other place. Now they, only, they have only four for a long time now. But when I went, there were five years. My, my dad was a member of the last graduating five-year class from Beverly High School in 1922, I believe it was. Oh. Uh, he from, was? Yes, from the old Briscoe, the, the old Briscoe yeah. building yeah. Uh, downtown yeah. Beverly. Yeah, Okay, now, Mrs. Woodbury, let's talk a little bit about the First Church of Wenham, Congregational Church. Uh, I'm told that you are the oldest member of the, of the congregation at this oh, point in time, mm -hmm. and you are to be congratulated for that. And you've been a member of the church all of your life, have you not? I joined when I was 17. When you were 17? Yeah. And uh, that would have sort of right back in the uh, early, early part of the century, of course. Yeah. Was it was the church itself uh, uh, diff any different uh, then back then? By that, did it look different? Did it, uh, I'm told that it was it was not uh, as it is today in terms of one large building. It, it, we had two separate buildings there back in those days. Um, well, the uh, chapel, yeah, in the back yeah, of it, se separate chapel, which yeah. was separate from the church yes, itself. Yeah, yeah, chapel. Do you do you have any? Uh, can you describe what that? 
was, was it was it just a small little affair, little sh little out small building? place, but um, there was a <coughs> podium up front, you know, for the, the leader, and there were cities. Do you remember cities? Cities. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. We had those in there. Uh huh. And. Uh, didn't want to just take turns being leaders, don't you know? Mm -hmm. To be leading so the meetings. We had Sunday school. Yeah. We had Sunday school classes. And in back of them there was a, uh, a kitchen. A kitchen. Yeah, and they used to have suppers there. Yeah. Bean suppers? Bean suppers, yep. Mm -hmm. For how much, Mrs. Woodbury? 25 cents. <laughs> it was great. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and they were good too. Yeah. The ladies used to bring cake, lovely cakes and things, don't you know? Cakes and pies. Weren't they nice? Yeah. They were great, yeah. Now you were a nice fellowship there. Yeah. You, you were one of the first deaconesses of of the church. I was one of the first the deaconesses, that's right. Can you tell us what that was like, Mrs. Woodbury? That must have been quite something for There were three girls, the three fellows, and I guess there were um well, uh, yeah, I guess there's six now. Six, there's uh, six women now. Yeah. Six men. Yeah. Well, there was um, Thelma Scott, Lois Stanley, and I were the first three. First three. Three yeah. deaconesses, yeah. But prior to your time, there were only deacons of the church. Just the, the men. men. The men were the, yeah. in charge. Yeah. And, and you were among the first ladies, the group yeah, of first right. ladies. Yeah, that's right. Yes, too. I was one of the first deacon, deaconesses, right. That's now, you serve communion along with the men. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. No little tiny glasses. We had to wash afterwards. I remember we, that. We still do. <laughs> the we lava. still do. Remember the oh, yeah. the little yeah. tiny loves them. We have to wash those and put them away yeah. after. We still do, huh? Yeah, we still. Do. I remember that was a job. But you told me, Mrs. Woodbury, that you always loved to go to church. That was. I did. I loved to go to church. Yeah, that's wonderful. I did. I loved to go to church, and I miss going now. I I, I can't very well go. Yeah. Well, but I did, and I we always uh, Tuesday nights we listen to the service again, you know. Yeah. On the cable. Yeah, on the yeah. cable yeah. we have the service, yeah. and uh, so that's good. Yeah. That's nice to have. That's yeah, I love to go to church. Yeah. I did, and yeah. I love to teach Sunday school. Yeah. Well, I thought you know I love to teach the kids. I like children. I always love children. I just think you would have made a wonderful school teacher, Mrs. Woodbury. Well, I, that's what I wanted to do. You know, I always thought I'd be a school teacher, but. I didn't, <laughs> but I turned out what I have done, what are the things I've done, and my marriage and so forth has, has been a happy one, so I, things worked out good. Certainly. I've been very happily married and so forth, I had wonderful children and grandchildren, yep. great-grandchildren. Yep. I've, I've been blessed with a wonderful family. Well, let's hopscotch around uh, town a bit, Blanche, and, uh, and talk uh, very briefly now about Maybe some memories you might have of Idlewood Lake, Mrs. Woodbury, down, down the road a piece. Here. Yeah. Well, they used to have dances up there. And it was kind of a rough crowd, I guess. We weren't allowed to go to those dances. You weren't? No. Did you uh, use the uh, recreational facilities of the, of the lake? Did you go boating or canoeing? Yeah, or? sometimes we would. We didn't go swimming, but um, it, was, it was kind of boggy. And they had uh, a section of it fenced off for the fellows to go swimming. Uh -huh. But they say that it was kind of, it was, it was kind of boggy a there. Of they weeds. might pull you yeah. down, you know. They didn't, they didn't like people going swimming too much. And, uh, but there was Mr. Perkins, Charles Perkins, and who owned that live wood, you know, those, the facilities there, the store, and the sold ice cream and stuff. Yep. He used to take people out in his boat. He had a boat, a, you know, nice, motorboat with a top and everything for 25 cents around the lake so many times. That, that was nice. <laughs> you wouldn't remember that, no. no. You said, you told me that you used to go skating on Cedar Pond. Yeah, right mm -hmm. that yeah was, I that, did. That, I used to love to skate because we had the rink down here yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did mention yeah, the, the rink. Yeah, the rink down here was really good. Mm -hmm. That was good. They don't do anything with it now. It's too bad because... We, we kids would get out there and knock the weeds all down yeah. Yeah. so that when it rained, the weeds would get covered in. Yeah, yeah, and they dammed it up and everything. Yeah. But they don't do anything with it. It's too bad. They yeah. won't spend the money on it to get oh, it to yeah. let kids have it. And we used to have a lovely time there on the rink. Uh, well, I know you did go swimming, though, down at Dane Street Beach in Beverly. Yes. <laughs> we 
used to get down on the cars, take our bath and salt with us, and the, how you could hire a, a little place to go in. You uh -huh. know, down there they had these little uh, uh, rooms. Uh, Cabanas or sheds or Yeah, whatever. and yeah. you could go in there and change and go in swimming and uh, come back and put, put your wet, bring your bathing suit out and put it in the bag, whatever you brought with you, and go uh -huh. home on the cars. We used to do that sometimes, I know it. Yeah. Your, your bathing suits covered you up a lot more than they do nowadays, don't they? <laughs> I was well dressed, I think. I don't think I had one. I think it was a dress. No. So sw swimming at Dade Street Beach was a real pleasure. Real, yes, real, it was. It was a nice sandy beach, yeah. yeah. And uh, the, the trip would be made on the trolley car. That's right, yep. yep. And uh, back you'd come. Yeah. Which Nothing. leads me to ask, Mrs. Whitby, what was it like to ride on those old trolley cars? Uh, I'm too young to have yeah, met, sure remembered, are. and yeah. uh, Blanche, well, you know, I don't know whether you the remember The open that. cars that had the seats facing, you know, were a lot of fun. It was a very fun to ride on them. But the box cars that had the seats alongside, just either, either side, both sides, and the, the conductor would be in the back and bring in the money or bring in when you, you put your hand up for them to stop and you'd ring the bell for them just for the motorman to stop, the one that was up front driving the car, you know. Uh -huh. And, uh, but the, uh, that wasn't, they weren't so interesting, but the open cars, as we called them, where the seats were facing the front uh, and they had running boards for you to get up onto them and into them. They were into, they were really fun to ride in to ride in. They would have run in the summertime, probably. Yes. In the warmer. Yeah, that's warmer right. Months. That's right. Yes, they were. They were nice. I liked those. We did, liked, did enjoyed the, those. Did the cars make a lot of noise when they were coming and going by? Yeah, they were. They were kind of noisy. I think. I you think could hear them coming. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think they were kind of noisy. Yeah. What would it have cost to ride on the trolley, Mrs. Woodbury? Gee, I can't, let me see. Do I remember that? Not much, I'm sure. I can't remember how much we had to pay. The conductor would come around and collect it and bring it in every time. Yeah. And from, from right here in Wenham, you could go uh, as far north as into Hamilton, I believe. Yeah, Asby Grove. Asby Grove, if yeah. you wished. Um, was there a connecting line to get over into Essex and then into Gloucester? Was there was a line, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you, you could get the Essex from the uh, Hamilton, Hamilton, yeah. And, and mm -hmm. then, of course, if you went south into Beverly, well, there's no no uh, no ways where you couldn't go. You could keep right on going into Salem and Salem. Point, point south and just about wherever you wanted to go yeah, in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the trolley. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you make use of of Hamilton Wenham Depot? Did you ever take the train uh, going in and out of town here? Well. Around Christmas time, I remember oh, I'd take the train to go to Boston to shop. Does that be up that, that too far along? When I used to, uh, we'd have charge accounts at Jordan's and Fridays and Gilchrist, you know. Uh -huh. And I'd go to the shop for Christmas yeah. and I'd take the train. Yeah. Those steam engines. That was they, when I was growing up, you know. Yeah. I say mm -hmm. those, those steam engines, though, they were something far different than the trains that we have today I coming, know coming and going. Yeah. Your father cut ice on Wenham Lake. Yes, he did. He used to do that on the other side, yeah. That, that must have been quite a difficult and challenging job to well, be an ice cutter, Mrs. Woodbury. There was an extra thing he did. He was a mason. He made, uh, worked with concrete, uh -huh. but um, made fireplaces and things like that. This was something to do in the winter then. Yeah, but he uh, he, he did uh, he did like to um, work on the ice. He he did used to do that when they uh, cut the ice there. He it was something extra. Yeah, yeah. A few a few extra pennies. Yeah, and, that's, and, right. And that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But tough, tough work though. In yeah, the hard work. Cold out been, there. Yeah. My father worked hard. Uh. Well. Um, I've forgotten. i forgotten to ask you earlier. We were talking about downtown. There, there were lamps out here on the streets that were had to be lit every evening. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. How, how would that process uh, take place, Mr. Well, Lee? there was a fellow that come around in a uh, car, you know, um, wagon, uh -huh. and it was up high. He was uh -huh. up high, uh -huh. and he'd light them that way. I see. Yeah. And they'd stay lit all night. Yeah. And. Uh, 
perhaps in the morning he'd have to repeat the the process to come around and I don't know that they went out by themselves, you know, later or not. Whether they had to come out in the morning, not. I don't seem to remember that. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. Well, those were those were the good old days for well, sure. I don't know. I think we've come a long ways, don't you? <laughs> uh, we have. Uh-huh. We, we actually we have. Oh yeah. This house that we're sitting in right now here on Monument Street. This house was built around the turn of the century because we have a, a picture of it that Mr. Conant took. Uh, yeah. back. Yeah. You've lived here for 68 years, yeah. you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before that, the house was, uh, it has the Libby name attached to it. Can you? It was built in ni- 1912. Uh-huh. And um, <clears throat> I guess Mr. Libby was thinking of living here, but his wife thought it was too far from town. I've always said. Uh, <laughs> 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 and that's what I've heard. And, uh, so it sat here a whole year before it was sold, and it, and it was uh, four acres of land because my son has owned my land now. I give my son some land so he could build his house there, and uh, he said, you know, right next to me the house that sits in, and the driveway's over across the lot, and that's his land there now. But that was all. We had four acres of land, and this house, brand new for $75,000, uh-huh. and uh, and it stood idle, everyone thought it was too much. Well. Stood idle for a year before it sold, before it was sold. Uh-huh. <laughs> this would be, uh, you were telling me, the, about the fourth oldest house on Monument Street. Yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, was a street that was created here yeah, just, just for right. the, mm-hmm. uh, around yeah. the turn of the century. That's right. Uh, for the purpose of building yeah. uh, houses yeah. on. Well, uh, as we as we come down, I guess toward the end of our chat, and it's been a delightful afternoon, Mrs. Oh, very I, nice I, I for me. I truly have enjoyed this uh, moment of meeting well, you. It's been a, a, a real pleasure. I enjoyed it too. What what advice might you give, having lived ninety four years, and uh, such a wonderful life that you've had? What advice might you give to the younger people today? For younger people. Well, the first thing, I, as I've said, to keep away from drugs. Keep away from guns, you know, any kind of guns that kill people. And... Uh, everything in moderation? Everything in moderation, yeah. Uh, don't get in with the wrong crowd. Uh, keep up, don't, don't have... Don't have guns. I, I don't. I think this this having guns has been an awful yes. thing. So many people senselessly killed, and um, the, the the drug um, situation is and the drug situation has, has caused has been a terrible, lot of oh, and, um, lots of hard, unhappiness for yes. people. You know. Keep away from those. Yeah. So perhaps what you're saying is try try and do the right thing That's it. whenever possible. That's it. Common sense. Common sense, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know how to do it, then do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. well uh, Blanche Day, uh, thanks very much for your help here in, uh, in I- introducing me to this, this wonderful lady. And, oh, and you thank tr- you. You truly are. Well, it's been me. awful nice knowing you, Mr. Joseph. And, uh, we're, we're, I'm very glad to know you. We're so pleased that you invited yes. us to come over today and visit I'm so with glad you. you did and, and uh, um, came and um, I really enjoyed talking with you very much, Mr. Joseph. You, you just celebrated your 94th birthday. Right, in January. And you had a, had a little party, you were telling us. Yeah. Yeah. A few people came over to my, say hi. Yeah, I had 39 people come in. <laughs> my sister, my daughter, June, kind of engineered that, I guess. Uh-huh. But they, because they all know on the street, and um, I guess uh, most of my friends know in town yeah. how old I am when my yeah. birthday is, so. And everybody loves you, too. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that, Blanche. <laughs> but I got some awful good neighbors. My neighbors are nice, my friends. I have nice friends. And uh, I, I, I um, now the Trouts, you're talking to the Trouts, the old, they were old timers. Barbara Trout, Barbara Lindbergh now, she was Barbara Trout, they lived in the Arthur Trout's house, you know. Uh-huh. She and I are the two 
old Winnemites. We always say we're the only two old Winnemites, the left in the town, I guess. Yeah. The real old ones, you know. Yeah. yeah. Barbara? Well, you certainly have memories of, of things that hardly anyone else at this day and time oh, can no, can, they wouldn't remember. Recall. No, that's right, because I'm uh, old and I can remember way back, yeah. way, way back. <laughs> it's, it's been great hearing all these things, too. And you remember so well, too. Well, it's, it's been yeah. a, a real delight. Well, I, I used to be have a good memory. Sometimes I think it's not so good as it used to be. You did very well today. <laughs> have old age creeps up on you, you know, and you kind of forget <laughs> sometimes. But I have lived for a good long life, and I just hope and I pray every night that I won't live ever to be a burden to myself or my family. I don't. I hope I never will live that long that I can't do for myself and remember to do what's right and keep my business affairs in good order and so forth. You know. Well, right now. Because I can't live forever. There's nothing sure but death and taxes, they say, and uh, so let's not live to. Be a burden to anyone. <laughs> right now, and I wouldn't want to go to a nursing home either. <laughs> yeah. Right now, Mrs. Woodbury, you're a joy to everyone who knows you. Oh, Believe thank me. you. Yeah. You're so kind. You're real kind. <laughs> and, I don't know about that, but. And once again, thanks for for having us. Well, no doubt, it okay. was a pleasure having you. We thank you very much for uh, joining us here on Wenham's Times Past, and we will look forward to seeing you very soon with our next edition. And once again. Thanks ever so much to Mrs. Woodbury for her very gracious hospitality uh, f uh, for inviting times past into her home this, this evening. This is Ed Joseph saying for now so long and we'll be seeing you very soon. Good night. <laughs>